So here's my fish tank after I put some uh, deep fork sand. This is all from deep fork. Deep fork river sand right here that I've uh, pulled out of deep fork myself. Uh, pulled up two five gallon buckets full and I didn't need two five gallon buckets full so I had a whole lot of deep fork sand and uh, but anyway this is the white sand from Deep Fork River right here I got one of my trumpet snails right here he's he's been there for about three days on this one bush I got six of these trumpet snails total there's another small one there's another one back there behind there But it looks so much better with the uh, white sand. It's at 82 degrees. It's pumping water. I got a pleco. He stays in there. Don't forget to vote. Looks like he's got a bunch of sand to him. And these water plants are what's keeping the algae down on the tank. So they'll definitely have somewhere to grow into the sand from Deep Fork River. And over here in this corner, I think maybe they're staying away from the snake I put in there. Gold barb, striped tetra, tiger tetra. Green barb. So these um, snails, they crawl around on the sea floor and make lines in the sea floor. So I'm definitely gonna buy me some more trumpet snails for 50 cents a piece at the animal house in Sepulpa. So I can have a whole bunch of them on the sand of this uh, tank here. And it'll look like the ocean floor from where they crawled. <clears throat> and I also have a shrimp in here is a ghost shrimp and not sure where he's hiding at right at the moment but he is in there